about today. I thought it was important that I you know, make some uh, remarks at the beginning of this hearing and say something about the context of this hearing. Uh, as everyone knows, with regard to uh, marijuana decriminalization, uh, voters voted overwhelmingly in the initiative last year, on the initiative last year, uh, last November, to adopt, to adopt, to essentially to enact uh, that in, uh, initiative. Um, and, uh, and then, as we know, Congress uh, passed a, a rider in its um, omnibus uh, appropriations bill that uh, seeks to limit what the District of Columbia, what the district government or the voters can do. Uh, the elephant in the room is Congress. Uh, voters enacted a bill to decriminalize. It makes sense, having decriminalized a drug, that then there would be some regulation of that drug. I think it's very analogous to alcohol. Whether we tax it or not is an open question for debate, but um, surely there needs to be some regulation, just as there is about um, virtually any product, particularly a drug such as alcohol, that is sold. Um, the question that we're struggling with is what exactly did Congress mean in this legislation? And if you talk to some members of Congress, you'll get one explanation, which I guess is that we can't do anything. If you talk to other members of Congress, uh, what they did was very limited. Um, there are some members of Congress who believe that our sending the initiative up to the Hill was, uh, for the 30-day review, was somehow violative of that uh, rider. I have to tell you, the Home Rule Act is very clear that when legislation is enacted, whether it's by the voters for the initiative or whether it is through the process of the council voting and the mayor signing the bill, I, as a chairman of the council, have no, no choice. I have a duty to send that legislation to the bill. The Congress has many ways to, uh, to uh, respond to our legislation. One of them is through this uh, congressional review period for something like 25 years, they've not used that process. Instead, what they do is, uh, is riders. Um, so I'm not even sure why there is this upset by some individuals in Congress about that legislation, which, as I said, was enacted by the voters, um, uh, why there's some question about our sending it to them. In any event, here we are with legislation that says we can spend no money Essentially, we can spend no funds in the current year's budget to enact that legislation which has already been enacted. And as I said, it makes some sense though that there would be some regulation around the drug. So we are trying to understand what the limits are. And uh, that's, I think, I hope that's some of what we're going to get from the testimony today is um, some uh, suggestions on how we can uh, understand uh, that legislative, that congressional legislative language. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, members of the council are struggling with that question as well. And the chairs of this, the, I want to say the joint chairs of this joint hearing, or the chairs of this joint hearing, are trying to uh, understand as well what Congress uh, intended. Again, I want to say the elephant in the room is Congress. Uh, and uh, to the extent that there's some question about what we are doing, uh, it's Congress that is creating this problem. And uh, we are doing our best to, uh, to understand and uh, to do what we can. Uh, again, I want to thank the witnesses who are here to testify. And uh, thank you to the uh, chairs of the committees for uh, having this hearing and roundtable today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to call on the 